The fire broke out in the basement of the ancestral home shop on Church Street. The damage to stock was caused by smoke and soot. I opened the shop door and the shop was filled with acrid smoke. And it was coming from underneath the building? It was coming under, there's a, there's a cellar underneath this property of, of, of which I don't have access to. It's a void, so what the, when the firemen came they had to drill a hole in the floor to gain access to the void in order to find out where the fire seated was seated. The business owner, Alan Craddock, has told Minster FM he's lost the opportunity to cash in on the Christmas trade. It is four floors. I've got four floors in this building and every single floor and everything in the, in, on the floor is covered with uh, a fine layer of dust. So all the products would need to be cleaned and I'm told that the entire property has also to be cleaned and redecorated. Alan and other shopkeepers say that they warned Northern Power Grid that something was wrong. There's been intermittent power problems. This, I think, was the epicenter of it all. We were getting loud bangs followed by power loss. Diane Porter is manager of the gift company in Church Street. She says she called Northern Power Grid as well. Uh, two weeks ago we had to shut on the Monday at half past four because we just couldn't work in it any longer. And then last Tuesday I came in, there was no electricity at all. And um, then we smelled burning, so we had to shut for the day. I did ring them up many times to tell them about the lights, and they just sort of like popped us off saying it was the Christmas puts that were taking the electric off us. We've asked Northern Power Grid for a response, and you can read that in our story at minsterfm.com.